Do you know where the milk in this carton was emerging from? It's Titan Milk Milk, produced from Daily Farming Promotion Organization of Thailand, or DPO. Wow, this milk has a long way of history. It was initiated during the late King Lama the Ninth, and the Queen of Thailand State visited to Denmark. The king was really much interested in daily farming business for seeing the Thai people would have health benefits to nutrition milk drinking and to ensure economic stability of daily farmers. There was an official inoculated for cooperation between the two countries and many more to come. I would like to see this historical place with my own eyes. Then I asked my dad, my mom, and my fellows to pack up for the night and go over the daily land when we could lay down and die looking for the stars. Here they are! Can they count her cows? We arrived and made the first check-in at the majestic monument of the two kings. The newer historical milestones that I haven't yet experienced. With fully support of the Danish government, the Danish experts came to the explore this area. And found that the thick forest in the Muak Lake district was suitable for the daily farming. Thereafter, the extensive broad sign of Mittapap Highway was reconstructed for the very first dairy farm in Thailand. The Thai Danish Dairy Farm and the Training Center was officially opened by the King Pumipun and the King Frederick the IX of Denmark on January the 16th, 1962 at the 1962 Farm Building. This became a very historically important day for the daily business in Thailand. This farm and its training center were managed by Mr. Neil Kunar Sandergaard as the first Danish director. He built up the dairy farming standard system. Nine years later, on October the 19th, 1921, the Thai Danish dairy farm was transferred to the Royal Thai Government. Dr. Yod Watanasin became the first Thai director. With His Majesty the King Pumipon's royal place, the Thai Danish Daily Farm was granted the status under the royal decree as the Daily Farming Promotion Organization of Thailand or DPO. Farm building. Where the cows are raised naturally, as we can lay eyes on, try to milk a cow, and cow feeding. Raw milk is saved from the farm and collected from the other farm's household. We will be sent to the 5 DPO processing plants. Those raw milk will be processed into various products such as drinking milk containing into cotton and sachets, yogurt, ice cream and many more for all of us. Do you know the first carton of milk was produced here? Recently, DPO has newly introduced organic milk produced from organic dairy farms. It provides a lot of benefits for health and nourishing brains. Ooh, the ambient of natural farms is planted. The cattle here is heavily grazing in a wild glass field. Some areas are open as an agricultural tourist attraction for those who are interested in dairy farming. Many activities are offered for the visitors to enjoy such as fish feeding, adventurously seeking for water shed, water popping of spots, which are the main stream of water used in the farm. In 
including many activities offered by the National Farming Center. Where one can learn know how on biofertilizer made from raw milk and wood vinegar, hyaluronic acid. You will be excited by the cowboy's horse riding, rope and rope, cattle strange shows. Enjoy staying overnight in a tent, gazing at glittering stars. Waking up in the morning, enjoying fresh air, looking at dewdrops on grass tops. All are nearly experience of happiness. They are endless lessons to be learned from nature. Confident and proud to tell everyone I enjoy drinking Thailand milk milk. That is genuine, 100% pure milk, no milk powder added. The milk provided by the gracious heart of His Majesty the King, Pumipun Rama the Ninth. Milk in the heart of all Thais of all time. Thai Denmark. Our national milk.